We made our way to the monastery where the sightings had reportedly occurred. With such a high incidence of paranormal encounters here, most locals avoided this place like the plague, leaving it largely abandoned. We sat down with one of the few remaining residents, a monk, who gave us his account of the hauntings. This monastery or this area we've heard is, is haunted with, with ghosts. He's been hearing uh, noises. He thinks there are a lot of ghosts. Uh, it's an old graveyard. An old graveyard. Graveyard. And that's an area with a lot of supernatural activity? Yes. The monk gave us his blessing to set up our night investigation in the graveyard, but warned us to keep our senses alert for the signs that precede the presence of a spirit. First, we should listen for the sound of howling dogs, as they are believed to be able to see and hear what humans cannot. Second, he mentioned a foul, noxious smell that fills the air when a ghost is present. And just when I thought Tom couldn't get any more frightened by our investigation, we stumbled onto the crematorium. You're scared of this place? Not, not now, but not after sunset. Yeah. The furnace had been used to cremate thousands of bodies over the years, a fact which made our poor translator a little uneasy. This is the most insane thing that anybody can do. Why? Because people wouldn't do it. It's like you're entering their, like, you know, death, because you're opening a place that, you know, now I'm scared, officially. That's a lot of ash in there. It's okay now, just imagine like at night, it's very creepy. Okay, so this is where we'll set up. The crew and I set up our night vision cameras, thermal imaging system, and remote audio technology against the setting sun. If anything, even things undetectable to human senses were to move, make a sound, or even cause a slight drop in temperature, our gear would pick it up. We could transform the graveyard into a maximum security surveillance center for spook hunting. And with our cameras fixed on their targets, I was ready to see where the night would take us. So how often are they saying there's activity here? This is the spot. This old kind of ruined area is very, very active. Well, it makes sense, obviously, if there's been thousands of people yeah, cremated here. And there. remains of hundreds of people sprinkled I mean, around. Put it this way, if you're going to find a ghost in Thailand, this is the spot. This tree over here is the spot where our monk claims he felt the presence of a spirit. We've got one camera on that. Camera two is pointed directly at the crematorium. Cameras three and four are facing out that way towards the headstones. Just like a dog whistle, some sounds can't be heard by the human ear. So what we're hoping to do is pick up these electronic voice phenomenons known as EVPs on the tape and uh, then send them back to the US to be analyzed. This is a Electro 100 wireless microphone. It should pick up any noises uh, that come from inside the chamber. Testing, testing, hello? That looks good, that level. Clean? It's perfect, the levels okay. are good and it's well, really sensitive. Position. And are you guys ready to go dark? Okay guys, I'm gonna make my way up to the crematorium to place this mic. Mark, you're with me, we're gonna go up and place the unit in. If a spirit makes any sound inside the crematorium, this mic should pick it up. disembodied voices or unexplained sounds. So everybody's super quiet now. Let's just do like five or 10 minutes of uninterrupted recording on this thing. Do 
you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. What is it? I think it sounds like howling. That's crazy. It sounds like hyenas. Locals say the first thing we should be listening for is howling. 